Yo, y'all already know what the fuck going, man. We still at this shit, man. Still applying heavy motherfucking pressure, man. So tonight, you know, I got a special guest in here with me, man. Y'all know how the platform go, man. Who am I with T. Murray? We always let the guests introduce themselves and let the folks know who they are. Uh, so go ahead and let them folks know who you is, you know? Yo, man, you just hopped in the band though with one rich, man. What's up, what's up, my boy? What's going on, man? You know, we live from the band though again. So you know, got the red copy for me. Yes, did, did my interview, so it was only right. I had to double back, man, and, and do the same for my folk. You feel me? Most deaf, most deaf, my guy. Because one thing about it, like my dog, I for Chapman Com say, collaboration over competition, bro. Ain't, no ain't no competition. Ain't no competition. We working. Yeah. Everybody going to be in Rolls Royces around this motherfucker. You hear me? Say that. Say <laughs> Excuse that. me. Say that. Everybody going to be in Rolls Royces around this motherfucker. Say that. You yeah. feel me? Ain't nothing wrong with coming together, man, and linking up with your fellow man. You feel me? Most definitely. Yeah. Especially if y'all in the same game. You feel me? Yeah, me. So it was only right we did this, man. So we going to let the foes. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this shit. We're going to get into it, man. So we're going to start from the beginning, man. What's up, what's up? Yeah, take them back before in the band though at One Rich, man. Like, let's take them all the way back, man, to the start. You did? Oh, man, the start? First of all, where you from if they don't know? Shit, I'm from Richmond Heights. I'm from West Orlando, you feel me? Richmond Heights, Florida, 21 double O. That's where I'm from. Okay, then. Straight down. Okay, then. Me. Tell, me, tell me about life over there, man. Shit, life in Richmond Heights. Got jewels. You got. Jay running around, you got crazy Calvin running around that bitch. You feel me? Life in Rich Heights just, we get money. Rich Heights stay out the way. That's how I always felt. We stay out the way. We focus on what's more important than, you feel We always seen the bigger picture. For sure. Than just Rich Heights. That's sure. just how I feel about my hood. You feel me? So keep on telling us about the early life over there in Richmond Heights, yeah. man. School days, all that type shit. What you was doing, man? You was... I was bad, little nigga, boy. <laughs> 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 my mama tell you, boy, that boy was bad, boy. Listen, man. Both my grandmas lived in Richmond Heights. One lived on Sapita. One, well, all three of my grandmas lived in Richmond Heights. One on Sapita, one on Prince Hall, and then the other one on Goddamn. That street is, bro. I can't even think of the street name. Just know I'm from there. Yeah. You feel me? I went to Carver. You feel me? I went to Carver for about two years. I went to sixth, seventh grade. Seventh grade, I went to a program, went to a boys' home. You feel me? Did the year in the boys' home. Tell, tell me about that, man. How we how we got there, bro? Man, we got to the the. It was a juvenile, not boys' home, but children's home, Baker County, Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, I'm gonna be in a place called Camp Tracy. Okay. You feel me? How I got there, shit, mama thought I was really out here hanging out. You feel me? I wasn't coming home. I was staying out. I'm in seventh, mind you, I'm in seventh grade. Yeah. So I'm hanging the fuck out. You feel me? It's just, it's just me. You feel me? Me and my sister, and then my mama and my step pops, but shit, I'm finding me. You know how you live when you're in the seventh yeah, grade, yeah. you trying to find yourself. Yeah, for sure. Shit, I'm hanging out, talking back, just. Smelling myself, really, shit. I'm yeah. making moves in yeah, middle yeah. school, you feel me? So I'm smelling myself. Shit, my mama dropped me off March 5th, 20... I graduated 2015, so she had to drop me off like 2013, 2012. Okay. Drove up to Jacksonville, Florida, dropped me off. Coldest day of my life. I said, fuck it. It's either get eight or get eight. Eat or get eight. So shit, I, from now on, bro, since I got out, one thing about that place, that place taught me work that If you ain't gonna get up and go to work, uh, move around and work, then what the fuck you doing? I sure. don't mind is the devil workshop. For sure. You feel me? So you gotta keep moving, gotta keep working, keep going. You feel me? That's just what well, that place. You said something out here. Yeah, yeah. A, lot, a lot of young niggas don't talk like that. You, you feel, feel me? They don't think like that. You feel me? I'm telling you, bro. Why you sitting up depressed and sitting up like, damn, bro, hanging on the next man? Out of mind is the devil's workshop, you feel me? You ain't got to be saying, you can be doing what he doing, you feel me? You can be moving how you moving, but moving how he moving, but moving in your own way. For sure. You feel me? Instead, you sitting at home getting depressed, thinking about all that shit, you feel me? I stand my head a lot, but I be like, bro, I can't stand my head. My head, my head a dangerous place, you feel me? So I just be like, bro, 
your head get at you. You feel me? Sure. That nigga inside, you yeah. be like, bro, you supposed to bend. Da 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 I'm from here, so I know every, any and everything you think you know, man, I know. I done seen it, and I done grew up around it, you feel me? So, that's where I'm from, man. That's the early lives of Rich, man. Straight up. So Straight up. We get out, you know what I'm saying? We get out the, the boys' home, shit like that. Mm -hmm. We getting a little older, you feel me? We basically graduate and shit like that, so. Tell me about that. We had a plan, or we the When I graduated, bro, I ain't gonna lie. When I got out, I did. I was supposed to graduate 2015, but I reclassed. I mean, I'm 2014, but I reclassed myself. Yeah. Because I was a grade ahead in the in the boys' home. They was making us go to school. Yeah. But it was private books, and bitch, I'm skimming through them bitches like, bitch, this ain't nothing. This easy, it's easy work. It's like, yeah. man, I was in the ninth grade. I was in the ninth grade before I even came home. Like, I was already going to tenth grade. I had all my. I graduated with like 26 credits. Okay. 27, 26 credits. So. Yeah, I got out, went to a private school, that ain't work. Went to Jones the next year. I played basketball, you feel me? Played basketball my 10th, 11th grade, you feel me? Um, went to Evans, graduated. While I was in Jones, my mom was trying to get me to go to the Army, but the Army ain't for everybody. That's how I feel. Every, everybody got their own, yeah. their own little itch. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Both of my grandfathers went to the Army, so I'm like, bro, I'm not doing that. I want to be my own boss. Yeah. Tight shit. So that was always been my plan, bro. Be my own boss. That's yeah. crazy because we I would get us to some shit the nigga Charleston White said, you feel me? You know, bro, controversial and shit. Yeah. He be saying shit. He was like he felt like young niggas, if you ain't got no plan or no motion or nothing like that. Yeah. You about to go. basically top of high school shit like that, the graduation. You're gonna fall in the cracks. Go, he he feel like nigga either bitch go to prison or go to or he recommend prison or, or the military. Listen, bro, I ain't even gonna kid you no <laughs> lie, bro. You see, I I got dumb tattoos. You feel me? And my sister, daddy always asked me, he was like, bro, what you gonna do with yourself with all them tattoos? You feel me? Because at a point in time, I was watching cars for BMW. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Detailing. So I'm just like, bro, I'm gonna be my own boss. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I know I got all these tattoos, but my whole thing was, bro, I'm going to be my own boss. Whatever it is I, I, God put in, I'm going to do it because I don't want to work for nobody. You feel me? And that's all my mama preached growing up. Like, yeah. she want to start her own business. She want to have her own business. So that shit just stuck in my head. Like, bitch, get your own business, bro. You ain't going to be working for these people like that. If ain't nothing wrong with working yeah. for, the, for these folks, but I just want my own business. You feel me? Whether that's detailing cars. I do AC too, by the way. I don't just do podcasts. Okay. I'm universally certified to do AC. Age back shit. Age back shit. Yeah, me? and a lot of y'all niggas don't know, but that, Go that get shit you a trade. Bad. Go get you a trade. Shout out my nigga. Have me on the track who, who we interview. Another nigga on, who on, the, on the platform. You the second nigga on the platform who brung up getting a trade. You feel me? I, I'm glad y'all saying that. That's that, important. Bro. Get a trade. Whether it's driving trucks, whether it's Goddamn, nigga, you can go in the back of the ambulance. You can go, that's a fucking trade. You, niggas think you got to go all day to school. Nah, bro, that's a trade, bro. Getting the trade, damn the, damn the gave me a plan. Because after high school, I had a plan, bro. You feel me? I was losing jobs here and there. I was doing this, doing that. You feel me? But I was homeless. Shit. We going to get into that, but shit, like, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot. You feel me? So, yeah, get a trade. I'm telling you. Getting my HVAC license gave me a bridal view. And then it's like, bro, I done seen these tickets. I done worked with these companies. Yeah. You feel me? I done seen what they fucking making and what they paying the regular motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Like, nah, bro. Y'all eating big pie. I want a piece of that pie. Mm -hmm. A shit not even a piece. I want the whole. <laughs> want, excuse me. I want the whole pie. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Tight shit. So, get a trade, man. I always want to be my own boss. Straight up. That's real, my nigga. Straight up. That's real. I don't want to be my own boss, bro. 
That, that's the vision I seen for myself. On boss. Yes, sir. You feel me? Can't write your own check. And I ain't got to wait on no check. That's why I hate working sometimes because I got to wait on the motherfucker to pay me. Oh, I hate that boy. Mm. <laughs> I hate that boy. Let's talk about it. I hate that boy. You get one of those, you feel me? Let me go get the money and drop it on me now. You feel me? I did the work. Drop that shit on me now, bro. Come on. That's real. So, we got goddamn HVAC in the band, though. You feel me? And that's hard, my nigga. Trust me, man. That's hard, I appreciate bro. that. Appreciate that. Cause I know what that age about do. <laughs> I got a couple, you know what I'm saying. I got a couple of niggas who do that. And then, Six you know, I did a little, I did a lot of uh, traveling work. You feel me? So yeah. Every time I'm on on the job, you feel on the traveling job. I just I meet all types of people. You feel me? And when them age back boys that be on the road with us, yeah, we gonna get chewing. Tell me, six figure business. Been chewing now. Six figure business. Go. Trust me. Give you young know, niggas a game. Niggas that's growing up under me, 20, 23, 24. Nah, this is the part. We ain't done talking, but I'm just gonna drop these jewels yeah, on y'all. We ain't. I'm gonna drop these jewels on y'all. You go get a trade and be an electrician. You, you, you can make a half a million, bro. The niggas that go out there and work on them cell phone towers, them motherfucking poles, they make a half a million, bro. Yeah, it's a dangerous job, but shit, you want that money, don't you? Them niggas that's working on them, them wind towers shit, over there. Shit, sitting in that motherfucking trap, dangerous too. You hear me? Sitting in the trap, dangerous. Standing on the block, dangerous. Yeah, but I'm yeah. telling you, young niggas. It's they rap the most dangerous, dangerous job. job. You feel me? Shit. They, they don't know what danger, bro. Being a firefighter is dangerous. You feel me? Police officer. But niggas go get y'all a trade, bro. I'm telling you. You don't got you no plan? Go get a trade. It's gonna save you a little bit. It's gonna make you think. It's money out here. It's money that these folks ain't telling us out here. That's the thing. Sure. You feel me? It's so much money in different aspects and different parts of businesses and corporations to they don't want us to get it. They trying to keep it amongst themselves. You feel me? So man, I'm telling you. That's why we say here on Who Am I with T Murray, we we trying to interview. We ain't just no Hip hop man, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The music, we do all that too, now, But we want the resources to pull up too. Thank you, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs. Hey, you know how to do a trade. You feel me? Yeah, come talk to these folks. You see what I put you under did. yours when I when I interview you? A and R. Shit, I ain't know what else to put. I said A and R. My boy, no. I don't even self claim myself. Hey, man. I did. You know. Shit, I can get that deal, nigga. You the A and R. I'm going to get my boy T Bird. He out here. That's a hundred. You feel yeah, me? Man. Yeah, get that shit up on you, bro. For real, bro. You got to. You ain't got to be doing no fuck shit to get no money, bro. You ain't always got to do it. I ain't going to never tell nobody not to go take care of themselves and their family, you feel me? Of course. Because I done, I done been in no shit. I know what that shit feel like every day, you feel me? I am homeless. I done slept on that slab, but I know what it is. I, um, I ain't praise, uh, praise to be the God, you feel me? I went to juvenile. Went to the lower, I did my little program. I ain't got no felony, bro. I'm 26. So, being down, oh, I done felt being down and being homeless, bro. I done felt that shit. You feel me? I slept in my car. Read me some, read me some on West Colonial. Slept in my car. I swear to God. Three, three, I say, no, nah, I slept in that bit for two whole weeks. Feel me? I was homeless again, sleeping on Lee Road. You feel me? Working at 7 Eleven. Stealing from 7 Eleven, trying to pay the hotel. You feel me? So you got to do a little fuck shit. You feel me? You got to. It's just, sometimes you got to do fuck shit to get ahead. The other folks do it. Why not? But, but, once you, but once you find that, and I will always say, once you find that avenue, you find something that you know can get you up out of here. Take it. You can't look back. You can't turn back. And that'd be my thing with You can't be playing both sides. No, nah, you can't. You gotta take you gotta go all in with it. You gotta go all in with it. You feel me? If you gonna juggle both sides, at least juggle it in a smart way. You feel me? Don't be all the way in. You gotta be making an exit plan. There you go. And niggas don't got exit plans. They just thinking about for tomorrow. 
See, I had a girlfriend, you feel me? She always used to tell me, like, bro, you you live like you 30 or you think, like, for the future. Like, I'm living for tomorrow. I'm living for the day. I'm like, yeah, I can't think like that. <laughs> Man, I got to think about what the fuck. You feel me? I got a daughter. You feel me? I'm trying to, you feel me, have land. I'm trying to build some shit. I'm trying to leave some shit behind. Mm-hmm. I ain't trying to have my daughters and my kids go through what the fuck I done been through. You feel me? I'm not saying I grew up rough or grew up in the rough parts of the... But shit, I grew up in a single-parent household, bro. My daddy died when I was three. You feel me? After my birthday, he died when he when I was three. I got the news article in my closet now. Nigga was shot six, six times. You feel me? So, man, you got to have an exit plan. You feel me? This shit get wicked out here. So what? One day, one day you wake up, you think you on the top of the world, that shit come crumbling down the next day. Got to have an exit plan. And that's what I'm focusing on now. Well, I've always been focused on. Since it's, I ain't even gonna say since the gym, but since I was eight, I say by eight when I could really think. Like, my whole plan always been, bro, I gotta take care of my mom. Yeah. Like, it ain't no, I ain't got no daddy. You feel me? Yeah, I got uncle, but yeah, I gotta take care of my mom. I ain't trying to have my mom work all, all damn life. You feel me? I'm trying to, hell, he go a couple steps, he go a couple, you feel me? Yeah. Cause I know what that shit felt like growing up, and you, the woman of the house, yeah, and you gotta raise both of us. Woman can't teach no nigga how to be no man. For real, say that. You feel me? Woman cannot teach no nigga how to be no man. Say that. So growing up, bro, yeah, you gotta right, have an extra Shout out to all the single mothers. You feel me? Shout out to all the single mothers. Got but to. That's why we gotta. You feel me? We gotta clean our shit up on our end. Of you course. Feel me? Of course. Gotta clean our shit up. You feel me? But it don't even be so much of us. It be, sometimes it be the woman. When I say us, I mean, I'm talking about just black folk. Oh, yeah. Old. We gotta be like these Mexicans, stick together. Now we're wrong, nigga. A Rouse on every goddamn corner store around them motherfuckers. Every 7 Eleven you walk in, I guarantee you, A Rouse on that bitch. And if A Rouse don't own that bitch, he's somewhere floating around. He, he, he damn near about part owner in that bitch. I'm telling y'all, if niggas was the band together, especially on music in Orlando, bro, we would be so much bigger. Like you said on the podcast, you don't feel like Orlando had they had they way. Nah, I don't feel like that either right now because the everybody on Detroit flow. You feel me? But everybody really Orlando get Orlando here now. Yeah, 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 we here. Yeah, yeah, we here. Like, but I'm talking about we, we ain't had that room. We ain't had that room. And that's why I feel like I'm coming in, you coming in. I'm trying to put this shit together. We got so much talent out here. You feel me? Why not have a hub? Why we can't have a hub in Orlando? You feel me? Why we can't push niggas' music? You feel me? For real. For real, bro. For real. And just know a nigga ain't doing this for nothing. You feel me? Like, a lot of niggas come out with these plaques. A lot of niggas looking at my shit and, and... Okay, who is this person? Who is, like, someone I ain't know. Someone yeah, yeah. I ain't don't know. But we trying to, we ain't just trying to be local, you feel me? Shout out to Cocky. We trying to go global, too. Yeah, my boy. You feel me? I'm trying to get him. Boy. So that's why I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm already tapping into certain type of people because I'm already seeing, like, what's going on. Go, you feel me? And we give the underdogs a shot. Gotta give the underdogs a shot. That will keep this shit going. The underdogs. You feel me? Cause I'm the nigga who want to keep y'all niggas from the to grassing up to not complain as much as you do. When you say it ain't no platform, you lying. Cause I got a platform. I got a platform. Bando got a platform. You feel me? These people over here got a platform. These folks, so you been trying to get over to that one, and you feel like, oh, I ain't look. I, I I'm already talking to them folks. So yeah, maybe you ain't saying the right shit. Yeah, maybe who represent you ain't. They ain't tapping they, in. They ain't talking. They ain't, they ain't tapping in how they supposed to be. That's for all you folks and all that. Maybe your shit ain't right yet. Maybe your shit, you folks maybe your that shit ain't right yet. And you need folks like us to tell you your shit ain't right yet. Somebody told me my shit wasn't right. You feel me? Yeah. I ain't taking it in. Oh, they fucking hating on me, dog. They, yeah. I went and I took their advice. I feel about my shit. I feel like my shit ain't right a little bit. But you got to keep going in consistency. You feel me? 
And that's really all it is. The consistency. And just really tap in, man. Put in, put in the work for real. Put in the work. These folks that you that you want to tap into, bro. Or you feeling like they be in Hollywood? Imagine just put yourself in their shoes for a minute. Thank you. Put it in the band, in the in the band over Warren Richie. Put get in his shoes. Get in the in the kitchen with H Dot shoes. A DJ Matty Ice shoes. Yeah. One of your artists you trying to feature with shoes. Yeah. The people you looking at, it's the reason why you looking at them. Yeah. Imagine what they doing that you ain't seeing behind the scenes for them, for you, for you to even be looking at them the way you looking at them. You feel me? Yeah. So you got to put in the work. Got to put in the work. That's what come with it. Niggas want to pull out with it. That's cool too. You pull out with a bag of money, and when you get what you get for, and, and when I say that sometimes, they be like, "What you mean? That nigga need the money, but oh, so if, if baby." Little baby charge a hundred thousand. You got the hundred thousand. You pay on the hundred thousand. You don't do no marketing behind it. First of all, you don't slide on it. Yeah. You don't slide on the song. Yeah. Cause his and he gonna match your energy. He getting the, he getting the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you have it. He gonna come to do it. He probably get your recycled verses, son. Yeah. Recycle balls. You feel me? Yeah, we out of here. <laughs> We out of here. We finna go gamble. No, Bet. Hey. You ain't me. even gonna try to get the video. Nah. You ain't gonna do none of the business right about. So the bad don't mean nothing if you ain't. You feel me? If you, you ain't, ain't got the whole right. shit together. Yo, you right now. You dance all right. Dance all right now. We gonna keep getting into this business. You feel me? We just vibing out, cooling, man. We so, chilling, man. We chilling, man. Man, tell me how you how you got into in the bando. Podcast, man. How you how you created in Bando and One Rich? Oh, little, oh, little, my brother, man. Bando, oh, little, my brother, man. Ten, nineteen, seventeen. You feel me? You feel me? Nah, nineteen. I'm sorry. Ten, nineteen, nineteen. Oh, my brother. I really. My brother got two songs on SoundCloud. My cousin rap. I know rap was around the city. I, I was in. I was growing up. You feel me? Yeah. Like, I know these niggas. You feel me? So I just thought to myself. I said, "Bro, I really I can't rap." You feel me? I, I mean, I try, but rapping ain't. Yeah. I, I never wanted to be a rapper. Yeah. You feel me? I, I always just like music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love music. You feel me? I feel like music is, I'm not going to say, if you listen to music right, it'll put you in the right mind. The right, the right, right, the right shit. mind frame. You said the right shit. You feel me? Because I listen to Listening to, to music, music right, right way. You feel me? Not listen to the beat, but listen to the words. You feel me? And taking it what it's for. You, you feel, feel me? me? Taking it for what it is, listening to the message that the artist saying. You feel me? So... I was just, I really was just driving, you know, driving, coming back from the little, little joint house. You feel me? I was in, the, I was in, well, I, was, I think I was in Coco. I was in Coco. I was driving from Coco. I was just thinking. Yeah, I had a little joint out there. You feel me? I was driving. Shout out to the countdown. <laughs> I was driving to the countdown. <laughs> yeah. I was driving, man. I was just thinking. I'm like, bro, I know all these artists, bro. I like their music. I push their music. I can't rap. I need to make a platform. I ain't got no money right now. You feel me? Not. I don't think I'm broke. I don't think I'm even broke. I just ain't got no money to do what I need. Or what I'm trying. The bigger picture, niggas. The bigger picture. So keep following me. Up. So I'm like, fuck it. In the band over one rich. Number one, my brother got two songs on SoundCloud. I want the bitches. I want the bomb. Whoever got them. I want them. You feel me? And I want to market them and push them. Number one in the band, though. My brother, two songs. Kodak Black, one of the Kodak Black beats. My brother on that bit. Before he died and before Kodak released it, Kodak yeah. got on that bit. You feel me? I don't think he know my brother did it, but he did. Yeah, you feel me? You feel me? Like, he was cold, so I'm like, okay. I need that song. You feel me? I could push that bit. That could just be residuals for my step pops. So yeah, my step, then my step brother. Okay. June third, my birthday, June seventeenth. We had birthdays again. You can't tell me this ain't my brother. 
Real, you man. feel me? You can't. Me and the nigga done fought each other. Yeah, we done slept, slept in the same room together. Man, you can't tell me this ain't my brother. Yeah, that's real, man. You feel me? He done told me some cold shit. He just told me some real shit. You feel me? And one thing he always told me that stuck with me was like, yeah, like, bro, you gotta be the one to get us out of here. And this was before in the band, though. This was, I was hot living. You feel yeah. me? I had just made the basketball team. You feel me? I didn't think I was gonna make it. I played basketball in the hood. Okay. So I made the basketball team in high school. He ain't made the basketball team that year. He was like, bro, you gotta be the one to get us up out of here, bro. So he just seen, he like, just seen he, it in He you, just seen bro. it in me. Like, I ain't never told nobody this. Not real. You feel me? He just seen, like, we was in the room, like, brother to brother. Like, bro, you gotta get us up out of here. He was like, other, he ain't, he ain't gonna play no sports, and I'm not finna play basketball no more. You gotta be the one to get us up out of here. You got to go to college and try to go to the pros and do something with basketball, bro. Cause I, I was talented. I was dunking. Yeah. They're talking 10th grade, dunking. You feel me? I'm in 10th grade, hanging out in basketball. Like, I was, yeah. I was good. In my opinion, I was good. You feel me? I ain't starting yeah. shit. I was playing. I was putting up points. You feel me? So, it's just like, when that stuck with me all my life. You feel me? Like, this my nigga. Like, we, don't, we talk, but we don't talk every day. But that's still my yeah, big yeah. brother. We still going to hang out. We hung got. One time before we was at our grandma's house, his grandma, that my grandma too. Yeah. You feel me? We was hanging out, you feel me? Still got, we got pictures and all, like even when we was jits, we got pictures. Like, then my brother. He sitting at the head of the table, I'm on the right side, then my nigga. I sure. smashed it being here about my boy. Sure. You feel me? That's my big brother. So I'm in the band though, his name Bando. Um, and that came, I'm like, okay, my name Rich. Fuck it, in the band though with one rich. Say that, <laughs> and I like the one rich because if you a Florida, you just sign with that one in front of your yeah, shit. Like, that, 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 that real, that's that Florida you shit. You feel me? So I'm like, shit, that got a ring to it. Hold on, podcast. Oh, hold on. I was just been talking about, it, been talking about, it, been talking about. It. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna start this bit, bro. What I'm trying to tell you, man. And I got that equipment, open that Amazon box. I said, oh, it's on. I'm finna pipe up. I'm finna pipe up. You feel me? I haven't, I'm not, right? I don't care about the money. I like music. I like music, bro. And I feel like, shit, I know these other people be just looking at YouTube. Like, I look at YouTube yeah, in yeah, the fucking bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel yeah. me? Or just browsing Straight through YouTube. Up. Oh, what the fuck this is, man? Let me see what the fuck this is. Like, fuck it, Rich. In the band of one Rich podcast. You got all these artists in Orlando. Fuck it, turn them up. Make them. If I don't, my whole mission is if I don't make you feel like you need to go harder when you leave my interview, or you need to go in the booth and drop some more shit, or just market your shit, market your shit like you said. Yeah. I ain't doing my my my. I feel yeah. like I ain't doing my job right yeah. as a, as an interview and as a podcast. For sure. Because I got you on my podcast. Is number one. I believe in you and your music. I'm gonna tell you, flood the market, push that bitch. Yeah. Flood that bit. That my old Master P did it. Yeah. Flood that bit. Fuck it. We keep it coming out. Keep it coming out. Flood. Flood. Get put it in their face. They gonna get tired of hearing you. I don't care. Flood the market. We got the money. Flood that bit. You in the studio every day. Flood the market. If I don't make you feel like that, what's the point of me doing this? You feel me? That's hard. And that's really why I got in the band that we want rich for them, bro. And I really feel like I still. I still got a chance to take us up out of here. You feel me? I feel like God's going to bless me in the way I can still take us up out of here. And as far as my sisters and my brothers, yeah, you feel me? Like, it's just me, my older sister. It's a lot of, it's a lot of my stepdaddy kids. You feel me? But then my, then my new, then my new. Rock and out. You feel me? We're going to rock out. So it's like, bro, I got, I got nieces and nephews. Yeah. I got a... I ain't worried about the rest of my family. This is my family too. This is my this is my immediate family. Yeah. You feel me? My stepfather, my mama. You feel me? Her boyfriend, my daughter. You feel me? So yeah. I'm just like, bro. My little sister. You feel me? Like I'm just like, fuck it. I gotta do something for not even just me, but bring that shit all together, and I can put y'all in position. For sure. You, you doing that already with what you doing, man? 
Yeah, shit, let's talk about some of these guests you done already had. Oh, this shit man, already bro. coming up out the mud, you feel me? Like, you want to know you about got some sliders through here, you feel me? I just seen you have VA Marlowe, you feel oh, me? Oh, yeah, that's my guy, that's my guy. That, that's a cold dude, you feel me? And one thing about V8, even by V8, his whole, his, his organization and just his people, I know he going to work. Man, you get that boy in the booth, that boy cold. I know he cold. You feel me? And he gonna put in that work. You feel me? That's just how I feel about him. Yeah. But who else you got? Who else you got? Just, you know, you know, I had Tony boy. Tony boy, coldest freestyler in Orlando. You feel me? He can't pull it up with string. Coldest freestyler in Orlando, man. Shout out strings to Tony boy. Max out. Skirt! <laughs> oh, shit. Who is it? My dog, Tall T. Hey, yeah, yeah, man. yeah. Tall T. I had 600. I had no got it. Ready for that that nigga need to come home and get straight in the booth. That come was on, somebody need to grab new guy. Come on, man. You need to grab that boy. Come on, man. Long way. For sure, for sure. I had my boy Lil Kefna on that bitch. Shout out my boy Yeah, Lil shout Kefna. out that. Yeah, my right. brother. And my brother though, that's a cold. That's somebody I just I ain't never get really get to touch, but I, I you got if you if you outside and you listen to me, you got to get in touch. Low calf no. Yeah. He gon' he, he might be the one that hits. If he not if they are not already tapped on to him, yeah. man, low cold. Low is cold. Cold rapper. Uh, shit, tell me, uh, I, you know, I had Twisty. Shout out to Twisty. Shout out to Twisty. I fuck with Twisty. One thing about Twisty, one thing about Twisty, I can say, she got that workout. Her EP, her EP was hard. I listened to it. Her EP was hard. That what I, I like to hear that. Yeah, like Twisty got me on that goddamn golden night. Heavy, though. I like golden night, cold. Hey, I think, hey, the city need to keep on pushing that golden night. Like that go to night cold. That go to night step. That's what we, I'm saying. We, we That's that, that shit. Out, we need to get that out of the UCF game. That's that shit. That's like UCF need to be coming. Them boys need Playing to be in the locker room with that though. Go tonight. Hey, let's make that happen though, man. They're gonna tap in. UCF gonna tap in real soon, don't worry. For sure. You feel me? Like who you done like just tell me about the process of, of just starting your shit and like just getting that, like, locking in the interviews uh, and, and shit like that. That process, you feel me? It ain't easy. That shit ain't easy at all. You feel me? If it look like it's easy, it's not. Because it's like, I be hearing folks DM. You feel me? And then you got to think, like, Rich ain't no flashy nigga. Like, I'm going to pop my shit. But I'm going to pop my shit when I need to pop my shit. Yeah. I ain't finna pop my shit around. You feel me? I ain't going to do all that. Yeah. I don't care about the internet like that. You feel me? It's a good tool to make money mm-hmm. and and to see what's going on in the world. But, bro, I hear folks DM. You know, some people don't answer. I don't know trip shit. It'll, it'll happen when it happen. You feel me? That, that shit be hard. I ain't even gonna lie like, what, what's your problem? Like, you just... You just, Yo, reach out, you just you know, reach out to whoever, like, whoever, whoever I feel like, like you fucking with. Whoever shit. I feel, right in that, whoever the whoever the Lord really put on in my timeline, and I go to scrolling and they done drop some shit, or uh, somebody done reposted somebody in the O, I go tap in with them. Yeah, ASAP. ASAP. Hey, come on, come get in here. You feel me? I done looked at your YouTube page. You got views. You feel me? Give me at least three days. I'm gonna do my homework on you. I gotta do my homework. I can't come at you with no bullshit. You feel me? That's how I feel about every interview. I can't come at you on no bullshit. Yeah. I got to do my homework on you and see what you really talking about. See if you just out here playing or if you really spin some shit that I could I could turn on and go, okay, yeah, yeah this one of them ones, boy. Yeah, okay, I see what you're talking about. What's up? I'll let mm-hmm. That really be my process, bro. And really, whoever I, whoever whoever my Instagram followers feel like hot in the city to them. So you kind of let them Letting them who going off of letting, letting the folks tell you who yeah. to go interview the type shit. And you're reaching out to them. reaching out to them. That's real. I'm just following it. That's real. Because you rappers, I'm starting to see that Orlando, some of the Orlando rappers, they DM me. They DM me your music. Now. Hey, repost this, repost this, repost this. So I'm like, okay, I see y'all doing this. Let me see if y'all doing this. I am. 
You feel me? Let me see if y'all and everybody else get involved. I'm glad you, you said that. Let me see if y'all doing this. I'm hot glad here. you said that. So once I see goddamn um, Lily, two and is whatever, fine, and she posts your shit. Oh, she fucking with bro shit. Let me go get him. You feel me? She followed me, so let me go get him. Obviously, she fucking with her. Let me go get the nigga in the band, though. Chop it up, see what he got going on. That's really how I do my shit. Let the people decide. And, and, and I'm going to tell you, and, and, and this is why I'm bringing this up from inter, up? interviewer What's to interviewer. You feel me? We just, you know, we just talking pros and cons. That's why I was glad when you hit me. Cause it was funny. I remember when we when, when you interviewed me, you was like, "Bro," cause I I, hit, I didn't realize that I hit you from the Who on My page. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he was like, "Damn, why, bro, want me to interview him?" And he got a vibe. Yeah, that shit threw me yeah. off a little bit. Right, but even yeah. still, even if it wasn't the TME murder shit going on, I still as an in, as an interviewer still would have locked in on the interview, bro. Cause why I'm not finna go to somebody's platform and talk about my brand and. And that's how I thought about it. Like, shit, he probably want to talk about his brand, bro. He got a podcast coming out. I had to sit back and think about it like that. But this is this another thing from you know interviewer to interviewer. What's up? And I done talk, I done talk to artists. You feel me? And talking from an artist who book, and Mm -hmm. I got management, and I still book my management to tell you, I book my own interview. Yeah. Probably ninety six percent seven on. Oh, you gotta be, you gotta be in their face. I let you talk to the manager when yeah, I'm ready. We, we finna put some shit out there. Let me tell you how you feel about. It. So you know, and one of the artists I interviewed talked to me about this behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. And this was one of the first artists that told me this, and, oh, and it shocked me. The artist told me that I was like, "Damn, I ain't gonna lie." I was like, "You know, I'm telling them I appreciate you for giving me the interview." Yeah. Jet was like, shit, we helping each other, you feel me? Like, I don't see, I don't, it be throwing me how artists be turning down interviews. Mm-hmm. I be loving when a bitch want to interview me. I don't give a fuck who it is. This the artist telling yeah, me yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. If a bitch hit my DM and tell me, oh, I want to interview, and I go look at that shit, oh, they doing, okay, they, yeah, yeah, even yeah. if they shit grind, man, I'm finna go talk to them folks. Yeah. Because every platform I go to is different. That's why I wasn't surprised when when Tony Boy pulled up there in the band, though. I was surprised. I wasn't. I, was surprised. I really was. I'm keeping it 100. Cause I told her, I was watching your shit before we... I already was seeing the concept and was like, I'm finna come here. Yeah. So really now, as I'm getting ready to come here, I'm watching. You dropping these bitches back. I don't play no game. <laughs> flood the market. Flood the market. Flood the market. Flood the market. Like, from the moment I, I... Really, I caught to it before you dropped it. You, you put the, the band out. Yeah. And you was... Letting the folks know, and okay, I kind of, and, and, and I kind of, and because I kind of did the same thing with my shit. Yeah, I had uh, did a little preview, like, yeah, hey, y'all start locking in. Yeah, woo, yeah. Woo. I'm about to, I'm about to crank, I'm about to crank up, <laughs> turn it bitch up. You feel me? About to do it. Yeah, man. So I'm seeing them bitches coming back to back, and then so when I'm seeing certain people coming to this bitch, I'm like, okay. So like I said, certain interviews that, and it's funny you telling me. That it shot you, that ain't him, and he ain't shot me. Like, certain interviews, certain people who pulled up, it ain't shot me because I know they work ethic and I know yeah, they yeah, really yeah. do this shit for real. Yeah. But then you get, I got you, we got the ones out here. Let's yeah, put it yeah, out yeah. here. We got the ones you out gotta here. talk to my manager. Let's yeah, talk about talk that. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Do you, do, do you feel the way you feel me when you get the, you gotta talk to my manager and we can lock in and talk right. shit. I feel on that, bro, T. I feel on that, man. If I got to talk to your manager and you ain't signed no deal yet, you doing something wrong. Your manager doing something wrong. Either your manager not on his job or you not on your job. Because as an interviewer and as a podcaster, yeah, you're an artist and yeah, you got these songs out. But are these songs doing numbers to where QC see it, Rockefeller see it? You going to Atlanta, you going to Los Angeles, you feel me? You going to New York, these mecca places for music, but you got a manager. You feel me? Your manager should be wanting to push you, push your market. 
You feel me? Your manager ain't gonna answer their DM all the time because they got their own life going on too. Especially if you're not on the Billboard 200 yet. So why should I have to hit your manager? You still a regular person just like I am. On the grind every day. But I gotta hit your manager. If I gotta hit your manager, that means I just don't need to do no interview with you. And by the time you wanna do an interview, I'm gonna tell you hit my manager, and then it's gonna be a fee with it. So then what you gonna do? Especially if you told me to hit your manager. I'm going to keep it 1,000. I've been put it out there <laughs> as TME Murray, nigga. It's yeah. only, oh, if you double back, and I know you a double back that. Because yeah. if you're going to have the double backs that, I'm like, okay, you just, you can, you couldn't see it. I get that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, we, 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 we good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the double back that I know you was bullshit, and I know you, oh, you know you finna get held the fuck, nigga, fee. You got to. That's going to make me really want to see if you want to fuck with me for real, too. You got to. I done elevated now, bro. I'm on a different platform. I don't, I'm tapped in with these people. You feel me? I don't put out mixtapes now. You feel me? That's really I really want to produce music. Like I feel like I can I can grab all the artists on my on my fucking every. I guarantee you right now, T. If a motherfucker, if I hit the lotto, if I hit a scratch off, means if I come across some money. I guarantee you right <laughs> now I'm dropping five mixed tapes back to back with every nigga I interview, bro. Cause I already know everybody work ethic on that. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. That bitch gonna crank. That bitch gonna do it. And we're going to it. Speaking of that, what what's one of the what's one of the up and comings that Cause I see it is a range of everybody yeah. coming to the band though. What's one of the new ones that the city might not be knowing about yet, or they get starting to learn about that you right now that you interview that you want to um, put some light on? Guap Lord and goddamn Yoda two times. Guap Lord and Yoda two times, and Big D Y. He from Crow Town. He a young nigga too. I feel like them three, they oh, and BTG Murder and Pharaoh the Great. You feel me? In Orlando. Okay. You feel me? Now, if you want to go to goddamn down south, my boy Zo Gotti, you know, okay. BBM, he been sliding, he just yeah, dropped and, the tape. And, and, and let's talk about that. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. one thing about A, hey, <laughs> hey, let, 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 hey, let, 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 let them <laughs> folks get this shit straight <laughs> right now. I'm, I'm tapped in and there, what now? In the band, though. Tap in now. It, 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 hey, it started West Orlando, but that shit, that shit same in. way how this, this shit started Dade County and came up here, you feel yeah. me? My boy doing the same shit. Man, but yeah, that's it. Because yeah, I seen you had the boy T Butler on there from Miramar. I'm fucking with, bro. T Butler. Shout out my big brother, T Butler, man. T Butler, yeah, he, he somebody don't fuck If it weren't for T, I probably wouldn't start my podcast. Shit, if it weren't for T. Let's talk about that. If it wasn't for T, yeah, I wasn't starting my podcast. He kept pushing me to do it. He's like, bro, we need that. I'm starting the music shit, bro. We need that, bro. We need that. Oh, shout out to my boy, too. G-U-G Showtime. You feel me? Shout out to my boy. My boy was the first one on my on my podcast to give me the 5.5K. Mm. Both one of his videos did 3.3K. The other one did 5.5K. Go tap in with my boy G-U-G Showtime. You feel me? But nah. T was just like, bro, I'm doing the music shit, bro. You got to do it. And I already had been in the studio, but I'm like, yeah, yeah. you live cold, nigga. You was a cold boy. <laughs> if you ain't go down, go get that. Uh, Mary Mars Finest, go get that. You feel me? It just, just dropped on Apple Music. You feel me? Straight For up. Sure. You feel me? So I'm just, I'm just like, nah, T. At one point, I was just like, nah, I ain't going to do that shit. Just think about it. I'm like, bro, let me see how much this going to cost. Ball the down. Fuck it. Bought that, bought the camera, bought, I already had the speakers, bought the mic, bought the laptop. I'm like, fuck okay, it, I'm really gonna do this shit. It just happened. We gotta do that shit the same way, it's like, a it's a different, different way, but same shit. It just happened. I, I still, I still think, but like, like, like you said, somebody created, created you and yours. Yeah. I created myself, you feel me? And you know, T, T created me and then my cousin, my big cousin. Yeah. He really in that business shit. He be creative. He he'll ask me some questions like, bro, what you need to do like to be better. What you need to do like get a better sound, better. Yeah. Like he he asked me this on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? So 
I'd be like, yeah, you right. You right. I do need to get this to be better. You feel me? Like, okay, then you got to do this, dude. So, yo, yeah, bro, if it was T, I'm going to start my podcast. That's yeah, real. T, 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 one of the reasons why I started it. Him, Bando, and just my love for music, bro. That's it. And I'm trying to really push people's music. Like I said, I feel like I could drop five mixtapes right now. Niggas come up to me and give me some money. I drop five mixtapes on their ass right now. I swear to God, I know they're going to do it. Yeah. Gas. Gas. I know they're going to do it. Five mixtapes right now. Niggas be like, you playing? No. I'm telling you, I know it's some artists right now. Hey, go look back for yeah, episode feel? one on up. I got some feeling? artists right now. Oh, yeah, my boy Busta Ali, too. Be on the lookout for Busta Ali. Y'all go look yeah. up from an episode one on up. I'm telling you, bro, I, I have a cold mixtape. One through five. Okay. In the bando with one rich. One through five. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm telling you, that's just how I feel about it. And that's why I think, like, I started the platform to really push myself into being that producer type. So maybe this platform can open that door for me. I can open the door for, yeah, swing that bitch for everybody else. For sure. Who who supposed to come through and who supposed to been got they shot? Yeah. You feel me? Not nobody who ain't working, who ain't really tapping in, who ain't posting their music, who ain't just sending their music out. You feel me? Because yeah. if you really sending your music out, like I said, these folks, Barquisha and all these hoes, they gonna repost your shit because they done jammed your shit once or twice while they just bullshitting around the house. Yeah. You feel me? So if you ain't really putting no work, it is what it is. But I'm trying to open that up for the folks. That's real. For real, for real. That's real. I'm fucking with it. Bro, so who who um just in the city right now? You ain't interview yet. You don't like the interview. Ooh man, I'm gonna take. I'm, it. I'm gonna say give me five. Give me right five now. that I want to interview. D boy. That's For like sure. that's For like sure. my that's like my because I grew up in that 1090. You you feel me? Red team winning, we ain't fucking with you, snitches. You feel me? Mohawk. The real Mohawk. The whole 10 night. You feel me? We started that shit from the ground up. and bre- Yeah, I, I grew up over there. You feel me? I seen all that shit. You couldn't walk through Rich Myers with a Mohawk at one point. You feel me? But D-Boy. I wish I could do one with KT. Off the top. Like, <laughs> I wish I could do one with free KT. I wish I could do an interview with KT. D-Boy KT. What? Juice! Oh, boy, that nigga gonna go. That's a hell of a story. That's a hell of a story. Oh my god. Damn. Who else I would like to interview? I feel like Leak Baby coming soon. For sure. I feel like that's coming soon. Shout out to my friend Leak Baby. <laughs> Shout out to Leak Baby. You know what I mean? I feel like that's 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 knocking on my door a little bit. Yeah. It's gonna take a couple more steps, and then he's gonna swing the door. You feel me? So, shout out Lee, baby. You feel me? That's three. I want to interview who else? Shit, whoop. For sure. Gotta get Mr. Lingo on him. For sure. You feel me? Gotta get Mr. Lingo. And then number five. Number five, it's a, it's a tie. It's a half a half between number five. I ain't even going to cap to y'all. It's a half a half between number five. The first half from Orlando, the person that I do want to interview, I do want to interview Loose Cannon. You feel me? I do. But I also want to interview, and I tapped in with him, but he told me he wasn't doing it no more. I knew he was, he was pushed up. Push up on me. Push up on me. We ain't even got to talk about that shit. We talk about music. Music and the day generation is music. That's all I want to push is music and just what you got going on with yourself in your life. You feel me? What drive you? What keep you going? You feel me? So that's them. them, them my fire right there. Oh, got six. Mookie boy. Can't forget Mookie. Mookie. Gotta, gotta have that six in there. That's it. That's it. But I got it. I, I think I think Lee Baby on the dope. I feel like Lee Baby gonna swing my shit, and that's gonna be the icing on the cake. It's gonna take a couple more, and that's gonna be the icing on the cake. I feel like I'm too tied in. You feel me? Like I feel like I'm, I'm trying to touch everything. Yeah, everything. You feel me? Producers, engineers, 
promote DJs. Yeah, all that. All that. All tap that. in, bro. Tap all in. That. Stop being scared. Shout out to the women that I did have on my podcast. Shout out to them, bro. Because most of you women be thinking that a nigga be just on some fuck shit. A nigga, I don't yeah. care nothing about that, bro. I'm trying to push your music mm-hmm. and see what the hell you talking about. Man, That's it. You said that. That's and I gotta, it. And I got to come right behind you and say <laughs> shout out it. all the women who done hit my shit. Yeah, all you feel me? So shout out to all man, that shit been, man. That shit been major love, bro. Straight up, bro. Straight up. Shout out to y'all, bro. Because y'all real deal tap in with my shit and y'all pulled up. Y'all ain't. You feel me? To the band, though. You, you feel, feel me? me? I fuck with you to with the band, man. I fuck though, with you y'all. You feel me? Because if you know, up. you know. You know, you feel me? So, straight up, man. That's all I got going on, my boy. That's love, That's man. That's one rich, man. You feel me? Already, man. We done, you feel me? I think we done gave him enough for right ah, now. You feel for right now. You we just me? want to, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Bring a man in and return yeah. the favor. But it definitely ain't going to be the last time, you feel me? We definitely gonna do some more collabo shit. You feel we gonna start getting in the lab together on some more other definitely. shit for sure. Definitely. But before we get out of here, you feel me? What's up? What's Let up? them folks know how to tap in. You feel me? Give them all your information, man. all that. One rich bando. That's my personal profile. You feel me? With two H's. You feel me? The number one. You feel me? Then you got in the bando with one rich. That's with two H's. You feel me? Uh, YouTube in the bando with one rich. You feel me? That's really how you in TikTok. In the bando with one rich, you feel me? That's how you can find me. You feel me? One rich bando and in the bando with one rich. You feel me? That's already. Right, Excuse all right. me. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, how we do that. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, to say that. You feel yeah. me? Y'all already know what it is. Don't man. Let my brother bando, man. Say that. Yeah. Sure. Rock. <laughs> you already know he said it for me. You feel me? We out of here. Hello. Appreciate you, big dog.